in 3 ABY, as Darth Sidious sat in the cold and lightless chamber of the Sith Shrine that rested below the former Jedi Temple on Coruscant to deepen his mastery over the dark side, the Sith Lord began to feel an immense and powerful disturbance in the Force. As this surge in the Force rose like a mighty wave, Sidious fought back against the disturbance, seeking to tame it, and, in doing so, saw what the Dark Lord initially believed was a Force vision of the future. This vision brought him to his office in the Imperial Palace, where the bodies of two royal guards lay dead, their severed heads strewn across the floor. Standing next to the bodies was a stoic, intimidating, and cold figure, with power emanating from them like a Sith of legend. The figure had a red lightsaber drawn and ignited, but Sidious initially couldn't see the individual's face due to the fact that they were draped in a black cloak. He could tell, however, that the cloaked individual was a boy. Sidious then realized that the cloaked boy was not alone, and saw another hooded figure who the Sith Lord quickly recognized as himself. For a moment, Sidious thought to pay no mind to this vision, as he had experienced similar visions when visiting Moraband, Malakor, and other places steeped in the dark side. But this vision felt different. This vision somehow felt more important to Sidious. As the Force vision continued, Sidious witnessed himself being Force choked by the young boy, but was relieved to see himself fighting back by unleashing Force lightning against the would-be attacker. Hoping to be back the cloak figure, the Force vision version of Sidious used the Force to pull a lightsaber towards himself, but the saber never arrived in the Dark Lord's hands, as the cloaked boy used the Force to stop it mid-air. Sidious saw himself failing miserably to do everything in his power to stop the cloaked figure from choking the life from him, even as the walls of the Sith Lord's office trembled and shook from Darth Sidious's outpour of dark side energy. Unexpectedly, Sidious heard a new voice whisper, seemingly from nowhere, do it, and the cloaked individual used the Force to thrust the floating lightsaber forward, stabbing the Emperor and killing the Sith Lord. As Sidious observed the death of himself in this vision, curiosity and intrigue picked his interest, rather than fear, since he understood that dark side usurpers were the way of the Sith and wondered who this young would-be conqueror was. While the vision continued, the Sith Lord dwelled on this, but was soon interrupted as the cloaked boy moved towards the real version of Sidious, who was still in the Sith Shrine, as if this cloaked being could see the Dark Lord of the Sith. Sidious then heard a new voice saying, you have done well, right at the exact location where the Sith Lord was experiencing this Force vision. Sidious considered the tone of the voice and realized that he was hearing a voice he hadn't heard in decades, that of Anakin Skywalker. The Sith Lord then realized that he wasn't tapping into a vision, but rather a dream that Darth Vader was having. Darth Sidious was unsurprised to learn that Vader wished to overthrow his Sith Master, as that's the way of the Sith. What did surprise him, however, was that Vader's dream was powerful enough to cause such a strong disturbance in the Force, even for one that carried some level of potential prophecy. Sidious also wondered who the boy was and how Vader had hidden his identity from him. As the vision continued, Sidious was thrusted backwards into the vacuum of the Sith Shrine, causing him to have to use the dark side to anchor himself. The Dark Lord of the Sith then realized that everything he saw was through the eyes of Darth Vader, who looked just like Anakin Skywalker did before his disfigurement at the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Realization then consumed Sidious, as he understood that what he was witnessing was a mere hope, a desperate dream of his apprentice. As Vader's dream continued, Sidious saw a familiar figure appear, the one thing that the Emperor knew would make his apprentice's delusional fantasy complete, Padme Amidala. Sidious then heard the cloak boy refer to Vader as his father and to Padme as his mother. Revelation set in as Sidious heard Vader call the cloak boy Luke before he praised his son. Sidious watched Vader's dream continue to unfold and understood that Vader's hope was to turn his son towards the dark side so that father and son could overthrow the Emperor. When Vader's dream finally dissipated and came to an end, Vader's intense obsession and following up on every lead obtained on the Rebel Alliance now made perfect sense to Sidious. The Dark Lord presumed that, at some point, Vader learned his son was alive, withheld that information, and then scoured the galaxy obsessively for the boy. As was the case with Vader in the past, Sidious dwelled on the fact that his apprentice's lack of control over his feelings would yet again become his undoing. The Dark Lord of the Sith also considered the potential of Luke Skywalker, his power in the Force, his bloodline, and how he would provide Darth Vader with every resource available to him through the Empire and the Imperial military to aid in his search for his son. This would allow Sidious to plan, while his apprentice searched the galaxy for his son, so that the Emperor could turn Luke into his next apprentice. The only questions in Sidious's mind were, how much did Vader know, and how far had he gone to hide his betrayal from his Sith Master? To find out, Sidious summoned Vader telling him, there is a great disturbance in the Force, taking us right to the events of The Empire Strikes Back. As we can see, not only does this story show the insidious and manipulative nature in Palpatine, but also the immense power that emanated from Darth Vader. A power so strong that he was capable of turning a mere dream of his into an actual disturbance in the Force. But what's your thoughts on this vision? Should Sidious have been more frightened by
by what he saw? And do you think he was wise to give Vader every resource available to try to turn Luke to the dark side? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.